I remember when I first started becoming very well known through uh, being the CEO and founder of Nosh Detox. And I used to get asked uh, regularly to speak, and it was something I was not really used to. And people would come and say, um, can you come and talk about your success? And can you come and be inspiring? And I would be the person in the corner with my telephone ringing up my friend going, I don't know how to do that. I don't feel inspirational. How do I feel? How do I inspire people? And I would also be the person saying, I don't feel successful. And I used to have to show up and behave as though I knew what that meant. And it's taken me over 10 years of work to understand again and again and again that I really am not and will not be the only person that feeling successful and being successful, in fact, are two very, very different things. Now, this is something that's very different uh, on the face of it for men and women. Men, if they make a lot of money, can feel actually very successful because they are externally validated by this. But for women, you can make a lot of money, build a big company, have amazing kids, and still not feel successful where it matters inside yourself. And this is something that I spent a lot of time talking to my coaching clients about, because when you don't feel successful, it's like there's something right inside you that's kind of eating away at your success. It kind of pulls down the joy of what you've actually managed to achieve. I want to give you a solution to understand how to manage this process. The first thing to do is to understand a thought process. Your body, your mind, and your emotions, everything, they're all aligned. I want you to behave and understand as though you have one pot of consciousness. And in that pot of consciousness sits everything about how you feel about yourself. Now, we can sit there and think at any moment in time, moment in time, at any millisecond of a moment in time, oh, gosh, I'm having so great hair today. That's just so really nice. Wow, I did this deal. Oh, my God, I hate my body. Or I'm on Zoom. Oh, my God, look how bad this looks. I don't like how this feels. But, yeah, okay, so there's that meeting. Oh, my God, that was such a great meeting. Yes, I've done it. I've done my job. I feel like I have an achievement. I look terrible today. We're capable of constantly having those co conflicting thoughts come and come and come and come. And what we don't understand mm -hmm. is that they all go into the same place. They all go into the same place, which is inside you. And what is inside you is how you feel and what you are going to create with anything that you touch. We all know people that we can look at and think, oh, they look so happy. And people that look really scary and unhappy. It's because your face, your body reflects how you feel about yourself. So if you behave and understand that you have one pot of consciousness, there in the same pot goes, I love how good I am at what I do. And in the same pot goes, I hate how I look. Can you see that the fact of that negative emotion is going to pull down that positive emotion? So there were places where it did not matter how much success I had as the founder and CEO of Nosh Detox. But until I understood how I could really join up my emotions about myself so they were all positive that I could actually become more successful because then I felt successful and the goal behind this was the feeling of success for me so what I want you to do is I want you to write down on the left hand side the things that you don't like about yourself and the right hand side the things that you do like about yourself and see because every day that you are you you're taking both sides of these thoughts and you're pitting, pitting them against each other they are fighting with each other and when you understand that clearly you're going to understand that in fact wherever you are today you have to like that person, that space, that who of you. Because if you don't, you will stay stuck in a pattern where you never quite feel happy 
you never quite feel good. You never quite feel connected with your body. You never quite, you just constantly feel very lonely and isolated. But if you can take that pot of consciousness and are constantly putting in, oh, I like how I look. Oh, I feel good today. Oh, my body is really doing well. Oh, my God, I did what I wanted to do. I ate really well. I did well at work. I did an incredible job on that project. Oh, yay, my kids did so beautifully. Oh, I'm a really great partner. If all of those things that are going into your pot of consciousness, you will see for yourself that your entire life transforms and to one that gives you inside yourself the feeling of showing up successful.